cool? I'm ready. Let's do it. I've been shooting with the new Canon ESR system. So of course I felt the pressure. Okay, that's cool. There were several things I looked forward to try. First of all, the video capabilities, the 10-bit 4K and lock, that's important. Yeah, go. Cool. As a photojournalist and filmmaker, when I try to find a story about a person, I always try to dig deeper. The graphic designer I have made the film about is uh, Susanna Nielsen. She has a speciality in textile print. I found out her most important tool was to do a mood board when she was presenting work for clients. So the whole idea for this story was that she was doing a mood board about herself. And in the end, I wanted to reveal something and she had a catchphrase, do what you love. When Canon contacted me about this ESR system, I was surprised because I expected they would go mirrorless, but I didn't expect that it was a whole system. The grip, it just fits in your hand. That is pretty neat. The other thing is the button layout, and especially the new multifunction bar. I can put every function in it. I can just here change my ISO. And I've been working from ISO 100 to 10,000, and it looks really, really good. And in combination with the ring that you can program, I programmed it for my aperture. So I can change my aperture all the time, and it's so cool, I have within my finger here, I have three functions. It's very, very easy and fast, and I'm not limited by a bad layout of buttons. It's actually helping me to be a better creative filmmaker. I was told that the 50mm RF 1.2 lens would be special. It's a brilliant lens. It's a crazy good lens. I haven't seen a 1.2 lens perform like that before in my whole career. I have also been using the RF 24-105 f4 lens and the variety of shots I can do with it. It's just an amazing lens. The adapter ring and the 16-35, can you bring that? The shutter is actually closed so the sensor is not exposed. And that is so cool when you have a mirrorless system. The ESR system is not a closed system. I have a wide range of EF lenses. I used an adapter today and I really wanted a wide shot, so I used my 16 to 35. It just fitted on and the really cool thing is the autofocus and everything was just working. To have the dual pixel autofocus on a small body like that, that just worked. That is the most important thing. The drag autofocus is just amazing how you can pull the focus and make a rack focus on the screen. So smooth and you can, you can adjust the speeds and so on. That's a help again to work more efficient. Try to look in here. If you turn it in portrait mode, all the information, because it's an electronic viewfinder, it rearranges so everything is in the right orientation. It's a small thing, but it helps to work fast and efficient, so I like it very much. In the future, I will definitely use it. Also because it has the 10-bit lock that I find very important in, in the way I'm working. Cool, we have it.